Well, there's that trout, chunky little planter. Couldn't lay off that gold spoon, and uh, looks like my dad's gonna be eating good tonight. We'll see if he fish on. Woo! All right. Woo! There you go. Nice clean trout. Rainbow there on the spoon. Cool deal. Real, 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 real. I'm reeling. Oh, nice! Wow! Wow! Whoa. Look at that! Wow! Beautiful fish! What teamwork! What a fish! That's what you come to Lake Elmanor for. Look at that incredible rainbow. We'll get a closer look at that. We got tangled lines. Oh. Now my wife Gina, she's a little shy. She doesn't want to be on camera. Look at that beast she just caught. Look at that amazing fish. That's every bit of five pounds. That's what you come to Lake Elmanor for. We've been up here for two days. We've had three strikes. But one fish is over three and one fish is over five. What an incredible fish. Look at the girth on that. I have big hands. I can't nearly get my hand around that fish. That fish was on my lead core rig. He was uh, about eight feet deep. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. Now you just saw three rainbow trout get caught in very different situations, different locations, different circumstances. That first fish, that was a planted rainbow I caught this week up at Sugar Pine Reservoir right here in the Sierra foothills. Um, the second trout, well that was a Shasta Lake rainbow I caught back in early September. That fish was about 100 feet deep um, up there in Silverthorn Bay feeding on Threadfin Shad. And that final rainbow, that big giant fish, well my wife Gina and I caught that just you know last week at Lake Elmanor. That fish was about 8 feet deep. So what do all three of those rainbow trout have in common? I'll tell you, they were all caught on trigger spoons. That's a selection of trigger spoons right there. What is a trigger spoon? Well, I'll tell you. That is my signature series of trout spoons. Um, I wasn't going to market these. I wasn't going to share these with anybody. You've seen me catch a lot of big fish on these spoons on the channel, but I've never mentioned them in video before. Let me give you a little background on these spoons. About 10 years ago, I started playing with spoon manufacturing, looking for the ultimate trout spoon. Um, just, you know, kind of mixing and matching, you know, concepts, shapes, different things. Um, and my goal was to come up with a very versatile spoon that would catch fish in the High Sierras, that would catch fish in Foothill Reservoirs where Threadfin Shad and Pond Smelt are the primary forage, and a spoon that would catch trout, you know, all the way down in the valley and at Bay Area lakes that allowed trolling like Lake Del Val. And uh, I've come up with just that. It's taken me about 10 years. About four years ago, I had this series of spoons dialed in and uh, I started catching a whole bunch of fish on them. And you know, my wife said, you need to market these spoons. And I was like, eh, I don't know. Then Wes Ward, my, my partner on the FHS YouTube channel, he was like, you know, we need, we need to put these spoons for sale. And I was like, I, I don't know. It's kind of like my deal and I, I'm, not, I'm not so sure. The final straw was Dan Bacher at the Fish Nipper. Dan told me, you know, you're in the business of helping people catch more and bigger fish, primarily trout, and uh, you have a great tool for that in, in your series of spoons, your trigger spoons, and uh, you should market those. And you know, Dan's been doing this forever. He's been Fish Nipper editor for more than 30 years. And uh, long story short, this year I decided to take his advice and put together a series of spoons that I am gonna market exclusively through my YouTube channel. Let's talk a little bit about the spoons. Let me grab a chrome one here. This is the spoon. This is actually the actual spoon that uh, my wife caught that huge rainbow at Lake Elmanor last week on. So here's the deal with trigger spoons. Here's the, first and foremost, they are extremely versatile. What makes for a versatile spoon? Well, a few things, but primarily to me, that means a spoon that can be run at a variety of different speeds. Now, there are spoons on the market that work well slow. 
There's spoons on the market that work well fast. But I like to mix and match. I like to have a spoon that one day I can run fast, you know, and team it with a Rapala or something like that on another rod. The next day, it might call for slow trolling. I might be trolling a threaded worm on one rod and I need a spoon that'll run, you know, at a slow speed. Well, my trigger spoons, the reason we call them trigger spoons is they trigger strikes from, you know, predators, trout, salmon, even bass um, in freshwater lakes. But my trigger spoons, they can be trolled anywhere from 1.6 to 3 plus miles an hour. The sweet spot is definitely about 2.2 to 2.5, but uh, you could troll them slow and catch fish. You could troll them, you know, when it calls for an aggressive presentation. You can go all the way up to and beyond 3 miles an hour. You're going to get an aggressive wiggle, an aggressive roll on that spoon at high speeds, and uh, they just straight out trigger strikes. That's the chrome version. All of my spoons, they're two and a quarter inches long. They're a half inch wide at the widest point. They all come equipped with a red treble, premium red treble, and they have a big eye. Um, size was very important to me when I started developing spoons. And here's why. You know, big bait, big fish, that's true. But if we all went around trolling eight inch long Rapalas, yes, we would catch big trout, but we wouldn't catch a lot of small trout. And sometimes you're at a lake that doesn't have any huge trout. So I needed a spoon that was large enough to trigger strikes from large trout. And we've caught trout up to six pounds on these spoons, but small enough that it didn't totally intimidate and scare away the pan-sized trout. At a place like, you know, Sugar Pine Reservoir, there are very few trout over two pounds, but you could still run this spoon effectively there. Big enough to tempt strikes from big fish, but small enough to still get hit by pan-sized rainbows. That was the goal, and uh, that goal's been achieved. Um, the next consideration, you know, once once I figured out I wanted a red treble, um, and I, you know, that comes from my background of hanging out with bass pros. Those guys will take a crankbait and switch out one of the hooks and put a red hook on it. And I asked them, you know, I've asked several bass pros, does that really work? And they're like, you know what? A lot of the fish that that I catch or that we catch, they're hooked on that red treble, and that tells them the bass are targeting that hook. When I started putting red trebles on you know, various trout spoons, I started noticing that I hooked more fish, I hooked the fish more solidly, blah, blah, blah. Bottom line is, I'm sold on red trebles, so that's what I've armed my spoons with. Um, colors of spoons. If you watch the channel, you know my philosophy. If you're at a bait fish lake, a lake where the fish feed on threadfin shad or pond smelt, you want to start off trolling fairly quickly with a metallic colored bait fish imitating spoon. So my spoon set had to have those bait fish, you know, colors covered. Now, if you're up in the high Sierras, I like to go bright and bold. So let's look at the spoons. If we look down here at the metallic end of the spectrum, what you're going to find, I'm offering these spoons in a six spoon set, which you're going to find right here You've got chrome, you've got hammered gold, and you've got copper. Jewelry quality finishes, tons of flash, very high quality metallic finishes. Now on the painted end, moving down, we've got hot pink with a uh, chrome back. We've got a black spoon, midnight black with a chrome back. And we've got hot orange with a chrome back. Now. If I'm up in the high Sierras, the orange, the pink, they're dynamite. And as I've said here dozens of times on the channel, low light conditions, either an overcast day or early in the day, late in the day, you need a black lure and you've got that midnight black spoon. So those are the six colors I went with. Those six colors will, will match the situation, you know, 99% of the time when you're out on the water, whether you're trolling for wild rainbows up at Lake Almanor or you're trolling for planters down at Lake Comanche, you're going to have the lures that you need to hook up and a lure that you can run across a variety of speeds. So there's the full six spoon set. Um, You'll find these in my store. I've tried to price them very economically. You're going to get all six of those spoons 
for $25 delivered to your house. You can't get them anywhere else. This is my signature series of trigger spoons. I assemble every, uh, every spoon myself in my office with great attention to detail. They flat out fish. These are the same spoons you've seen me using dozens of times on the channel, but this is the first time I've shared with you what I'm actually using. Do I still use other spoons? Do I still use humdingers and cripple lures and on and on and on? Absolutely. But more and more often, I find myself reaching for my trigger spoons because they flat out produce results. They produce small fish. They produce planted fish. And as you can see from that video at the opening, they produce trophy sized fish. When those trophy sized fish are available and ready to go, the trigger spoon will trigger strikes from those big old trophy trout. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. I'm very excited as you can see about this announcement. Um, I've sold flies for many years. I've tied probably over 100,000 trout flies in my tie, fly tying career. I never thought I would be marketing trout spoons, but uh, I've taken the, taken the plunge. There is my six spoon set of trigger spoons. They flat out fish. They will trigger strikes for you. Jump on over to the FHS store. Uh, Wes will put up a link here somewhere. I don't know how that works. I know how to assemble spoons, but I don't know how that works. But uh, hit that link, get on over there. We've got a decent supply, but supplies are limited. Um, click on the buy button, click on the purchase button, and we will get a set of trigger spoons headed your way. Um, in a, in a short amount of time. And remember, this is the only place you can find them. They are not available at stores, on websites, nowhere else but directly from me. Get your trigger spoons and get out there on the water and get after those trout. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg, guys. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, there wouldn't be an FHS channel. We appreciate it. Um, we love doing what we're doing. And uh, I will catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Look forward to seeing you out on the water. This is Kel Kellogg, and I'm signing off.